Welcome back folks to Let's Play Pokemon Gold. I thought I'd bring in a new trainer card since we're in Kanto now, not Johto. In the last episode, we became the Johto League Champion, beating Lance to win that title. We are now on a ship to Vermilion City, on the road to getting eight more gym badges. Oh yeah. So let's carry on. No, no one here? There's someone here though. Oi, fatty. I'm going to Kanto to put on fire breathing shows. Good for you. Could you put one on now where you sort of like set your hair on fire? Or your head? Or every everything on fire? Coughing. Level 30. That tw is that 28? Seriously, level 28? You, my friend, are not a very good trainer. How the hell did you get on here? See ya. Ooh, flurry on that's a bit more. Uh Seth. Seth's got digs, so he should be able to take out Flare on with these. Screw you with your quick attack. Gonna dig down to your face. Face! I just lost, I just lost, I just lost nine damage. You lost your life. Now you can't compete anymore. Because I've took your life. I am seven, I'm a bitch. I'm seven, I am an ass. I don't care about you because I would rather kick you in the asshole because. My name is Seth and I'm 51. That is in levels and I just gritted on you. Okay, we just beat this fire breather. Lyle, you're gone. Fizzle, faux shizzle. Faux shizzle my mizzle, boy. Okay, let's, uh... Well, the only way we can go really is, um... Back that way. Through, down that staircase. We've beaten every trainer we need to do here. Hey guy, could I get you to look for my buddy? He's goofing off somewhere, that lazy bum. I want to go find him, but I'm on duty right now. Okay. Okay, apparently we can't go that way. Okay, so he's somewhere here then. He has to be somewhere here. Are you him? Nope. No, that's not any of them. So apparently we have to look for this guy's, like, cabin mate. And we have to look for him because, well, apparently he's dozing off. Well, not dozing off, he's just really lazy. Is it you? No, you actually seem to be doing your job, okay. Well, you I feel like asleep. And that will uh, refresh my Pokemon, which is all nice. Hmm. Where is this man? Is this him? Yeah, I'm a sailor, alright. I wasn't goofing off. The cabin was vacant, so I just took a quick nap. Ah, forget it, let's battle. Alright. So not only are you relieving your duties, best of luck in your future endeavours, boy. Because you ain't gonna last much longer in this job. Match up, level 31. Natty, level 51. Gust attack. That should do more than enough damage to match up. Yep. Well done, Natty. What's he got next? Psyduck. Okay. Uh, now we're going to keep Natty in. Psyduck. Psy Beam versus Psyduck. Because all those Pokemon are only level 26, they're like nearly half the level of us. I feel sort of horrible trampling on this guy's weaklings. Machoke! That deserves a side beam! Or two! Or three! Or four! Or twelve and a half. Because there goes Mr. Machoke! See ya! Yay! Well then, Natty. You're dead, boy. Well, you're not dead, you're just beaten. 
Sorry, it was all my fault. Sure it was. We know it was. Being a sailor, I have to do physical labor. It's exhausting. Yeah, well, get, get fitter, I guess. You know, so you can sort of have more endurance. Ugh. Thanks, guy. I chewed him off good, and so he'll quit slacking off. A little girl? I may have seen her go by here. Okay, so, she's somewhere here. There's nothing in here. Okay. Load of beds here, though. Uh, I'm seasick. Well, don't have a Pokemon battle if you're seasick, mate. Jeez. We don't want you to lose your bearings. Or in this case, your balls. Anyway, Mr. Mime. Level 29. We've got Leech Life, the greatest bug move in the world. You guys should know I'm a huge fan of the move Leech Life because of the amount of power, the amount of good it actually does. And everyone's like, going, oh, Leech Life's only good for like Zubats and they suck. And, and, and then I'm here with one, with a move, with a Pokemon with Leech Life on it as a, as a final move. And it's brilliant. It works really well. Just, just a little something to take out those, um, Take out those little irritating psychic type Pokemon. Magma, try to go for smoke screen. Didn't get it. Dig! You dig! Hey Magma, you dig! You dead now? You dig! Level up for Seth. That all all all's left now is for uh my last Pokemon to get a level up, which is Natty. Machoke. He can level up here. Against Machoke. One side beam should do it. I, tell you, I can't wait until Natty gets psychic. She'll become a lot more useful once she gets psychic. Psy Beam! You're dead! You fainted! You are unable to continue the battle because your eyes are all swirly and stuff. Oh, speak of the devil! Don't mind if I do. Natty has forgotten Psy Beam. And learned Psychic! Yeah! Fritz has been defeated. Oh, yeah, so Natty has now become a lot more useful. Oh, Mum, what do you want? Oh, stop taking my money and use it. Typical. Typical. I go out and become a, an international sensation. And she just nicks all my money. Oh, Mum. <laughs> Right, you're the last guy, I think, on this area. Might be one more, actually. Nothing beats a battle when I'm on a break. Oh, not another one on a break. Look, what is up with this cruise and its crappy workers? Come on, Jeff. Raticate. Fine. I get to show off my psych- I get to show off psychic now. Psychic attack! Okay, let him quick attack you. And then psychic attack! Strongest psychic move in the game, this is. And that's why. Psychic, you only get 10 goes with it. Which means actually I might use that PP up on it. Yeah, Raticate next, so I'm going to switch into Groove. Groove, the Pokemon with a lot of HP and a lot of defense. He's sort of my wall. Groove. Earthquake attack. Oh. Um. You did! Groove gained some experience there. And we win against Mr. Sailor Jeff. Win or lose, my break's over. <laughs> sure is now. Okay, what we're gonna do is. Where's that PP up? There it is. Right, I've a selected move. We're gonna give it to Natty and Psychic. So now we get an extra attack with Psychic, which is all nice. I'm so bored. Want a battle? Yeah, sure. I mean, I've had like a few battles already, but you know, let's give it another go. Let's give it, let's give this battle a go. Why not? One Pokemon, Picnic of Debra. You have a Sea King. All right. All right, we'll roll with that. Come on, Natty. Now Psychic has 12 PP instead of just 10, which is good, meaning I can get two extra Psychics out of it, which is going to be a lot more useful. Uh oh, nearly. Oh, nope. Sorry. Leech life, let's see if we can gain all our health back, or at least some of it. Okay, we're nearly at full health anyway, but yeah. Just, just, every little elf. 
<laughs> That's a shite pun, but yeah, it's true. Every little elf. Okay, let's carry on. Is there anything down here? No. Cool. Actually... Is, that must be the little girl! Captain, play with me please! I'm bored, I want to play more! Hi, will you play with me? Oh, Grandpa's worried about me? I have to go! I have to go find Grandpa! Whoa. There you go! Grandpa, here I am! I was playing with the Captain and this guy! Yay! We get a metal coat! Lovely! Metal coat. A really nice item it is. Fast ship SS Aqua has arrived in Vermilion City. Oh, it sure has. But first, I want to just check something. I want to check if you get anything from the captain for sort of preventing him from wasting the rest of his sorry life on, you know, playing with that little kid. Hey. Ooh, thanks for coming along. Keeping that little girl amused was exhausting. I don't. What? I don't get anything? Screw you then. What an ungrateful captain. I mean, come on, the captain of the SS Anne gave me HM Cut. I mean, I know there are no HMs that I can get now, but come on. Fine. But anyway, I might as well uh, tell you what the metal coat does. The metal coat. If you equip it to a certain Pokemon, it can evolve when trading, and it powers up steel moves as an ordinary held item. The Pokemon that, uh, that it evolves uh, are Scythers and Onyx. If you give the steel uh, metal coat to an Onyx, it will evolve into a Steelix when traded with it. Uh, if you give it to a Scyther, it will evolve into a Scizor, which is a Pokemon we haven't come across yet. Anyway, Fast Ship has arrived in Vermilion City, thank you very much. Do 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 I can't use my bike here. This is Vermilion City! Hey, doesn't it look familiar? Look, see, you've got Vermilion City. Then you've got a fat thing. Wait a minute. Oh, that's that's blocking the dig look cave, look! Skilled trainers gather in Kanto. Gym trainers are especially strong. They won't be easy to defeat. Oh, no, they won't. Right, now. To take on this gym, I would normally have to, uh... Like, use cut. But now, I just surf! The values of doing Johto! Hey! The gym! Vermilion City Pokemon Gym. Leader, Lieutenant Surf, the Lightning American. Oh, remember him? Oh god, it's the, it's this again. Oh god. Okay, we're gonna do this and then we'll probably go for a break. Lieutenant Surge, recognize my potential with electric Pokemon. Think you can beat me? Ooh, new battle music. Guitarist Vincent. Magnemite, level 27. We got Natty. Uh, which is quite useless in this battle, actually. So I'm gonna switch out for Seth. Yeah, we get brand new battle music since we're in Kanto. Trust me, when we get to the gym leaders, oh god, is that battle music amazing. Trust me, it is my favourite battle music in any Pokemon game. And this Magnemite is trying to annoy me. So, let's kick its ass. As you can see, it's sort of a remix of the trainer battle from Pokemon uh, Red, Yellow and uh, Blue. And Green as well. Do 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 Roll out! That's gonna do a lot of damage. Well, actually, no, it's not. But luckily, we're quick. We're uh, so good at this that Voltorb isn't. Yeah. Probably gonna switch out here since Seth is actually paralyzed. Uh. Magnemite again. Okay, we're gonna switch into Groove. Magnemite. Seth, that's enough. Come back. Go Groove. Earthquake. Mama. 
Right, Vincent's about to send out last Magnemite. Okay, that's fine. Groove can finish it. Groove can take it. With an earthquake to the face of Magnemite, that is. Not, not earthquake to its own face. That'd be the worst Pokemon in the world if it did earthquake to itself and it hurt itself. Anyway, Vincent, you are beaten. Ugh. Okay, after this battle then. I'm gonna take you down. Prepare to be shocked. Anytime that voice anytime that music turns up, I just think these guys are really weird. Oh, he's a juggler, okay. Oh god! Horton! Electrode! Level 33! Natty! Looks like it's up to you here. Sidekick! Well done. Nice bit there. Another electrode. Please don't tell me it's going to be four electrodes. All the same level as well. Jeez. This is going to be bad. For him, that is, because... Actually, I don't know. Can one psychic knock it out? No. Great. And roll that's going to do a bit of damage to us. That's fine. We're just going to leech life and get all of our health back. Gaining our health. Screw you, Electrode. Right. Who's next? Another Electrode. Why am I not surprised? Bullseye, you're in. We're up to like nearly 17 minutes. Ugh, thrash. Take that, Electrode. Nothing can survive thrash. Lastly, another Electrode. Yeah. That guy had four huge balls. And in those balls were four other huge balls. Ugh. Anyway, we beat Juggler Horton. Ah, I was overpowered. You damn sure were. Okay, folks, we're going for a break here. I'm going to heal up my team and I'll see you back in for the next part of Pokemon Gold. See you then.